complete spiritual armour, which I'm sure some of you probably have on your bookshelves. But it is a, an interesting read, particularly from his point of view. So if you can get it, get it. What's that one name? by William Gurnall. William Gurnall. The Christian in, in spiritual armour. You won't get any other books on your shelf if you put his books on. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was a Puritan author. He was, yes. So, so it's from his um, his perspective, shall we say. <laughs> as most authors are. the age in which he lived. Yes. He's almost as old as me. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyone got any comments? Anything to make? Or are we going to have silence? Oh, just to say, Dave, your third question about consciously dressing yourself, I think we need to consciously remind ourselves every day that we are in a spiritual battle. Because I think it's all too easy to forget that this world is just so temporary and there's this huge battle going on. And we need to keep reminding ourselves of that, which I think if you physically think about as you get and start your day, you know, dealing with each part of that that God is giving you to get through your day, because I think all too often, you know, yes, we, we pray or, or we read our Bibles, but we don't actually think on what level the battle is going on. Yeah. yeah. I think we need to do it more when we go door to door, because uh, last week I really felt under a cloud when someone, mm. quite, very nice lady, very uh, listened and everything, but she said, I don't believe in God and I have never had a need. And God, the, I know we've all heard that, I guess, but it really got to me. And maybe, just maybe, and I went home and I thought, I should have put that on. <laughs> um, because as Joy said, I put down here, yes, 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 we do need to consciously try, even if we've forgotten it first thing in the morning, you know what I mean, to put it on. Because... Uh, I really felt under attack for quite a while. It's, she's not left me, this lady, and then yet, um, you know, uh, those were, the, and she went on, and we talked to her and stuff like this, but uh, it didn't move her an inch. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's how it can get to you. Well, it hasn't moved her so far anyway. You never know. Well, I just put down. On question three, I must wear the armour of my faith and reliance on Jesus daily. As people are always ready to knock our faith and test us over any little slip-up. Or as, as they say in our Christian lives. And I think we have to be on our guard. And so it's not just wearing that bit of armour, we need it all on. That's me. I think the important word is put on the whole. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God! Because uh, there is a hymn. There's a hymn that says, "Leave no um, unguarded place." And uh, the devil knows the weak points. Yeah. Old hairy legs knows us better than we know ourselves. So it's only in God's strength you're going to be able to. My first question. I put with God's strength we will overpower Satan from head to toe. We have the knowledge that God stands firm with us when we can rely on the faith that can move mountains. I think the danger is trying to be self-reliant because we will not be the devil. You know, we, there's no, that's why we've got to have that communion with God. So we, we look to him in the battle. With your incident, um, Mary, you know, you, you feel, oh, I should have had the right words to oh, say. I struggle with it, yeah. It's, it's something that's just clouded me. I mean, yeah. you know, parts. And all. Yeah. Well, that's that's where you've got to say, Lord, you're sorry. for years now, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, just that one time. Yeah, but that's mm. when you just send up a prayer. Oh, yeah. And say, oh, Lord, you know the situation. I know the answers. <laughs> Give me it next time. <laughs> <laughs> But it says here in Romans 12, uh, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, and yeah. that's what mm. has to happen. Mm. I can Just bring in a, a military analogy, <laughs> again, if I may. As ever. <laughs> but uh, a naval warship, for example, uh, there are the threats come from the air, from the sea, and beneath the sea. And you need to have defences against them all. And also, whether they're short range, long range, or in the night or whatever it is. 
It's no good leaving one bit unattended. You must have the whole, otherwise you are defenceless. So the whole armour of God is reinforcing that. You need everything in place, otherwise you're vulnerable. So, just a... The mind is where you have to. The mind. The mind, the yeah. mind is such yeah. an intricate. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the subtlety of Satan, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And if he can't get you one way, he'll get you another. Yeah. Or you're trying. Yeah. Uh, I think also. He's a master of it. We're given the five senses the seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching. And that is part of our weapon, mm. I think, against Satan to bring forward the senses that God's given us and use them every day um, against things that are said and things that we see may not be the whole truth. Mm -hmm. Even someone's word, not to take mm -hmm. it as gospel that that's the final word because mm -hmm. it may not be. You know, tomorrow they may change or another day. So this is all um, maybe part of Satan's way of getting to you. Coming back to Mary's question, <clears throat> Miss, whoever it was you saw, yeah. you came away somewhat disappointed, but you don't know what's going through no. the mind of that lady. It wasn't so much You've given her something to was, think about. It mm. was what it got to me. Yeah. Mm. So, although yeah. I pray for her, uh, she had no need that those words were so strong. Mm. Mm. And I was almost frightened to pray for her because I thought God might just show her the need. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, oh, I really Why, well. Yes, but that's easy to say, but if it was something, the death or something, then it would be, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't get a I mean, if I was in that situation, I would pray something like this. I'd say, dear Lord, I don't know what you're going to do, yeah. but Lord, do it for her soul's sake. <laughs> For eternity, and you know, I think that's so important. I've lived a few years now, and uh, yeah. <laughs> but you can still get to it. When you meet her in heaven, Mary, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she'll well, you've done your bit. <laughs> that's the point, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the the yeah. If the book doesn't stop you, yeah. thankfully, <laughs> the book stops with God. Mm -hmm. and, uh, recognising that she does have a need yeah. and although she denies it Sorry. perhaps her conversation with you, you I mean you don't yeah. have to go away yeah. that that's there it's the back of your mind yeah. it's probably the back of her mind as yeah. well there yeah. just sneaking yeah. away there do you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. I was about to do his job <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear what you answered but all I was going to say was when you get to heaven, she might be standing at the door. Well, uh, yeah, I'd like, yeah. Have in. I'd like to have the passion that yeah, she's standing. She won't be able to close the door either. <laughs> but, but Mary, I mean, I, I, I'd imagine this last week, you say she was in your mind and everything. You've been praying for her? Yeah. Well, with, with, with there you are there with, 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 the, with the armour of God. You yeah. know, you've, 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 been, you've been praying for her. So that's rather been a negative thing. It's actually been a positive thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think the devil can get in. We know that as a little group, don't we? If you're d down a bit because the response on the doors has been uh, negative, as in uh, that situation, you can almost guarantee that others have had a more positive response. Yeah. And uh, we're not uh, there to worry about uh, the, you know, the reaction of the folk on the door. All we are doing is uh, being God's servants, being uh, uh, able to... Uh, go out and prepare to make fools of ourselves for his sake. Mm. And that's what matters. We don't have to worry about it. It's going to be his work, no, not ours. I know, but you do. But, no, you do. You're human. Yeah, human. but the devil will get in there in a way to discourage you. Don't want you doing it. Oh, if it's I not could, worth it. If I could just it give a little bit of a testimony that might yeah. encourage some of you, it's, it certainly encouraged me. As you know, I, I work one day a week still at my old job. And last week, um, there was. <coughs> two particular uh, customers that I had that uh, wanted something that we really couldn't supply with them with and yet they wouldn't take no for an answer, it was me they were dealing with because they know that I've been in the business the longest and that I could come up with miracles I suppose. But anyway, 
the whole of that week, it bothered me that um, they wouldn't take no for an answer, that we couldn't do what they wanted done. And um, when it came to the following Friday to go to work, I said to Colin, I said, I don't feel I want to go to work today. That's the first time I've ever said that, I think. I said, I don't really feel I want to go and have all the hassle with all this. Anyway, I went. And um, when I got there, the other colleague that was there, I said to her about one particular job that I had started the previous week. And um, she said, oh, don't worry about that. She said, that's all been taken care of. It's been somebody else had taken it on board and, and, and done the job that um, instead of me. And another um, thing in it as well, which had concerned a customer, um, that had all been sorted out and it was all, everybody was happy with it. They didn't get what they wanted, but they were, they were happy with it. And I thought, well, Lord, we've been praying about this, or I had, and worrying about it. And yet the Lord knew all the time that it was something that was bothering. And to me, it was upsetting my witness to the other folk that I work with. And yet the Lord had helped me by sorting that out through other people. And I didn't have anything to really worry about. It was amazing how it all worked out, you know. So the Lord does know and he yeah. does take care of these things that do bother us yeah. in wonderful ways. It's gone before yeah. you, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, that's an example. You've been there a long, long time. Yeah. And just that one instant, in a sense, sort of threw you. And yeah. it just, that's how it was with me. Yeah, yeah.